Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna document my editing process in Lightroom. So a couple years ago, about six years ago, I when I started the photography, I used Lightroom a little bit, but uh, then I switched to uh, Visco only. And two weeks ago, I bought the Lightroom uh, subscription, the photography photographer plan, and I started learning the Lightroom again. So this time is learning for mainly portraits, how to edit portraits. So let's get started. First thing I want to show you how I organize my photos. <clears throat> I have been learning a lot from the YouTube channel. So um, I just searched YouTube how to organize photos and then I came up uh, my own way to organize the photos. The first thing is to import the all the raw files. So by the way, I have been shooting raw also ever since I bought the Lightroom I, and then I want to try the raw editing, including the Fujifilm and um, um, other cameras. So they are all raw file imported to my CK expansion drive, the four terabyte expansion drive. And I um, organize them in terms of the date plus the, uh, the name of the model. So after I imported them, then I create a collection set. So for those of you who don't know collection set, you just search a YouTube collection set organization in Lightroom. So for example, Bula Baby, uh, I did a collection, the four collections. Each collection, I have the photo that I want to edit later on in the album. So uh the way to add is when you see the plus sign that become a target set and any photo that you want then just press b and then it will go to the target set so this is the way that i'm organizing the photos just a brief uh overview of how i organize the photos so today i'm just gonna do a quick uh, editing on the latest uh, collection uh, in the san francisco I'm going to just add a couple photos uh, along the way so that you can get some impression of how I edit. And this is pretty new to me. I have been learning for two weeks. If you feel like uh, I'm doing something wrong or there might be some more quick uh, shortcut that you want to recommend, just feel free to comment below. I'm just going to do the editing uh, along the way just like what I usually do edit. And this is just a video to document uh, how I edit. And as you can see, this is the CR3 uh, Canon uh, CR3 file. So this file is the compressed uh, raw file. So compressed raw file has about 24 megapixel. And in the library, it's already like have the preview JPEG uh, style, like the Adobe Color already automatically have the color but uh, in the um, in the raw file is pretty plain uh, flat uh, that's the right word pretty flat because it's the raw file it has a lot of information that needs to be updated and the advantage of this uh, you can change different uh, white balance as well but um, that one is pretty good already uh, for the S shot one, the S shot one it was in camera shot. The other thing you can see is there's a vignetting go vignetting going on because of the lens 35 mm f uh, 1.4 lens, and you can do some lens collection uh, correction as well. And because it's a retro car, sometimes I leave the vignetting a little bit, maybe halfway. You can see the changes uh, when you're in. I might just leave it for the 66, around 66. So um, the thing that I found out from one of the YouTuber Julia uh, Choti, and she used the tone curve a lot. So I was experimenting different tone curve uh, editing. So this is the mid tone. I if it's too dark in the center I'm just increase the mid tone a little bit and so this is how I edit 
and this when you drag down the point from this uh, I think this is the black and uh, white like the shadow more more shadow area and then more uh, dark so the tone curve is uh, whenever you drag it down to the lower half of the uh, the square it's darker whenever you drag it up it's lighter so it depends on what what tone and mood do you want your photo to be then you um, you adjust them uh, correspondingly so I can just adjust a little bit more of the tone so don't do too harsh the tone is easier like just slightly a little bit and so for those of you who wonder how the moody the moody style usually uh, tone it uh, curve up so I, I probably curve down a little bit more in here this one so let me zoom in yeah the eyes pretty sharp already I'm gonna do the highlight save a little bit more in this one and then increase the sh contrast and then a shadow on the face so I'm gonna there's some shadow here I'm gonna try to use the shadows just to clean up a little bit so if you press the O it's a so selected mask overlay you can uh, show the mask a little bit here and then press the O button again oh but it might be too much here and you can adjust them slightly let me see I think around 10 is fine and then I'm gonna do another one to soften up the skin a little bit so that the area is not that yeah not that bright and then later on I'm gonna use another tool for skin retouching also and there are two ways to retouch I just bought that tool image Im image not make three so that one is helping to edit the um, skin nicely so and let me do a new one Sometimes you can add a little bit of uh, sharpness to the eyes also so let me zoom in a little bit more and then add a little bit of sharpness not too much because I don't want to over exaggerate it, uh, um, the eyes so let me go back up to the view I can see the highlight is still too bright so I'm gonna turn down a little bit more so let me close this one um, the highlight is still too bright to me so I'm gonna reduce the highlight save a little bit more okay so let's go back to the big picture yep the looks uh, pretty good to me I'm gonna use the crop 4x5 for Instagram slightly turn a little bit yeah so there's another um, section here is helpful if you want warmer tone it's called split toning so you can just um, choose the tone that you want and as you can drag around based on your fee uh, what do you want what do you want your tone to be so you can like drag around to see which one it matches your feet the best or you can do it the preset and then change it later so you can do the preset let me see it might be too green to me so I'm just gonna do the a little bit more percent so it has a warm tone in it and for the shadow area you can do the cold tone in the cold or super cold or both of them warm you can do both of them a warm tone but for for this demonstration i'm just gonna um, make it very slight 
So the other one is uh, is the HSL color. The color here is already really nice. I just want to show the different as you as you do this slide the saturation the more to the this side is more red and then the pink dark pink so if you want the photo to have more red uh, just slightly to the right so the lum luminance um, I just make it just almost the same so let me say before after before after I can see that still a little bit bright to me so you can just adjust right here if you don't want you can reduce the highlight safe even more increase the shadow let me see so this is before after that looks pretty good to me um, I think the red might be too strong let me reduce the exposure slightly hmm. yeah I'm just trying out to see which exposure matches better there's some light white right there kind of like distracted my eyes so I'm gonna crop even closer so that the concentration is on the model's eyes instead of on the side of the photo I want to crop it to make it cleaner so that um, the concentration when you first look at the photo is at the uh, model's eyes and then I'm gonna let me see what else I can show oh um, the skin tone if you don't want the skin tone to be too pale you can adjust from this light I can exaggerate but uh, you can do the plus 9 around plus 9 just slightly a little bit to make it tone a little bit more um, vi uh, vibrant so vibrant uh, there's a vibrant uh, bar right here also so as the vibrant bar toning it has a little bit warmer I'm gonna give it a little bit just slightly and I'm gonna adjust the cropping a little bit more so that it's tighter okay so I think things look good okay the next one I'm gonna show is uh, uh, skin tone editing I bought this uh, plugin you just search uh, this from the Google Ima image nomic portraiture 3 it's a paid software I spent like 199 um, because uh, I use the soft solvent screen brush already but uh, this one it it's nice to retain the texture of the skin kind of like the frequency separation in the Photoshop and this helps you um, to make it faster instead of doing the Photoshop frequency separation on different layers so the way that I use this you can see that there's a uh, before and after before and after picture and you can show the mask so the dark area is the one that gonna mask the skin on the softer surface so the soft skin gonna mask on this uh, original picture so I'm gonna sometimes the by the computer it doesn't choose a lot of the skin so I choose the skin until it got the most uh, cover area so I think mostly the forehead like that and then you can preview it so I'm gonna turn back off that and then do a before and after you can hold it and then there's a be before and after uh, preview so so this uh, is pretty quick quick uh, edit for me for the skin tone and sometimes if you need uh, more uh, because but this one doesn't fix the spots if you need the spot removal you still need to do the spot removal using the spot uh, function right here but uh, after this it created a uh, TIF file TIFF file for the uh, for the edits and I'm gonna crop it slightly a little bit more closer also so this is the this looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna do a
command shift E so this is export uh, shortcut command shift E and I slide all the way to 100% JPEG I think that's the only thing I'm changing and then I export to my folder called sync and then export it so in the folder then this photo it came up right here yep so this is the uh, final product I also bought some preset but after I, I've seen the tone curve I like to use the uh, this one to have my tone have my own um, editing on the tones so for the next picture is similar I'm just do a copy copy the edit you can highlight both of them and then um, do the command highlight both of them and then right click develop setting and then paste the setting on both of them and let me see how it looks this one is um, maybe the exposure need to be a little bit more I think it's the lens collection the lens collection is not uh, automatically added so I'm gonna do the enable you can see that the before and after is too bright uh, I'm gonna still retain some vignetting so it creates a sense of retro style also uh, the white is too blown out a little bit I'm gonna reduce that and then increase the contrast let me see so the contrast just slightly okay so this one I can use a different tone curve uh, for this if you do the up it become very retro in this one you can see that the difference from here to here you can see all those uh, cinematic uh, style is like that and this might be too strong so I'm gonna do that and then later reduce a little bit more yep let me see oh it's too strong so I'm gonna do Ctrl Z and then adjust this one yep so it has nice uh, tone in here but let me see I'm gonna increase the shadow area a little bit more so that it has more overall feel to it and then the add more white uh, sorry the black and because the shadow is very strong right here I'm gonna give a little bit more shadow but not too strong shadow so I'm go back to the shadow and maybe uh, just slightly a little bit shadow just some a little bit of brush of shadow just around the head area so just subtle just some sharp, uh, subtle shadow and let me close that and then I'm gonna go back to the split toning let me see so if I'm dragging back up a little bit more you can see that it has more warm uh, style I think the laughing is more suitable for the warm tone like so yep so you can have two different style of editing uh, based on the split toning you can have the shadow in the cold or the shadow in the warm so it depends on your flavor and the red is good enough for me the next one let me smooth out a little bit more on the uh, skin right here before I get into the back to the image uh, Nomic 3 so I'm just gonna smooth out a little bit okay done okay I'm gonna do the same thing edit so this is the plugin that I uh, bought two weeks ago. I have done some research on the like learning some what was the best way to do the skin retouching, and then I have done using a soft screen, uh, skin brush, but the soft skin brush uh, blown out the texture as well. 
So and then I found the frequency separation and I found this uh, plugin that is faster for doing the same effect as the frequency separation. And I'm gonna mask the area that most important in the cover the most surface of the face. And you can see that because of the color of the skin the same, it had created the mask that uh, are in the same area of the skin. So I'm just gonna do a preview. Just to do a zoom in. Let me do a zoom in right here. Yep, just a slightly uh, soften a little bit. And just waiting for the processing. So this is the way that how I'm editing right now. I think once the initial photo, I finish the look and feel, and then the next one is pretty quick. I'm gonna do the uh, cropping this time after the skin retouch. So just slightly around the lines right here so that it's leading to the model's face. You can see that these two lines are um, converging to the point so that um, usually the viewer looking from the left hand side to the right hand side so that it's like leading both lines to the model's head so it create a nice like leading line and all the way fall off uh, to the end so uh, i like uh, to use the leading line to concentrate on the model's uh, face when the viewer looking the way how they look into the direction of the lines it will help leading the composition so i like this edit and um, for some people, if you don't like um, too much orange, you can just change the orange. But if you change too much, it becomes too unnatural. So I'm just not gonna go back to this. And I, f I feel like the skin tone is overall is good to me already. It has nice tan, a little bit of tan to me. So I'm gonna do a con command shift E, do another export to my folder right here. So after the export and then I double click just to make sure everything is okay. So that's good. And then I'm gonna, cause I like this, uh, the tone one. I'm gonna copy the tone and then paste to this one. Let's see how it goes. So immediately you can see a little bit of retro, but it's still a little bit too bright for this one. So what I can adjust is to make it like lower light. Let me see. In the shadow, I want to create more shadow in this one. And then you can add back the black. Okay, I can see a layer of a warm tone in here. It's because of this. So I'm gonna go back to reduce the warm tone for this one. Mm, let me try the yellow. Reduce the amount of yellow in the back. Let's see. And then the tone curve add a little bit more down. So kind of like create a retro feel. The green in here, if you don't like it, you just do the uh, no green color and uh, vibrance. So let me see how this looks. And then four by five in this one. Just crop the edge a little bit uh, cleaner. Okay. Okay, there's some still white uh, dots right there. So I'm gonna crop it down a little bit more. And you can see the composition right here. Uh, I want to make sure this angle is nice, like a line on the corner. So let's see. This one might be too dark. Yep, I'm just adjusting. Highlight. Yeah, for some reason, 
this area is still too dark to me so I have to increase back the exposure and then reduce the highlight a little bit more so from far away um, I'm gonna drag it down a little bit more so that the dark is darker And what I can do is because you still see a little bit of shadow in the eyes area I can just use the same technique uh, just to increase the shadow a little bit so right now it's at 8 so it's just subtle just give a little bit more light in the eyes area around the forehead you can just give it a little bit more yep and can just give six a little bit okay now I can do the plugin let me do the plugin and then edit okay while we're waiting it will pop up another mask window I'm gonna create the mask by default is pretty good already you can see that it skip the eyes so that the eyes uh, sharp it will be retained and as you can just move around a little bit so this I think I feel pretty confident and then I'm just clicking OK so let's see so overall this has a retro color like faded color to me I think still a little bit too bright the highlights okay so I just did a slight adjustment after the um, I can give a little bit more of the um, not the shadow just a little bit clarity um, slightly on the eyes area so that is yeah just a little bit so it's not noticeable but from far away you can see that it's a little bit better and then I think that's it uh, let me see the alignment right here yep yeah. so I'm just doing another command shift E and then export Okay, so and you can uh, check it later in here after export and then what I do is I can just export to my phone using the airdrop okay let's do the last edit I want to edit a uh, different outfit just do a last edit this is the original photo and there's a person coming out here what I'm thinking on top of my head is I'm going to use a different crop just crop out the mode uh, the, the person in the back I'm going to just crop the nice nice square but make sure the body is in the center you can see the preview on the side right here and okay okay so this is much cleaner to me I can still see a little bit of black edge right here I can just use a crop a little bit more and make sure that it's balanced both sides on right now this let me see I need more on this side so I'm looking at this also because it is far away mm, still not okay I think this is good this is good so let me see what was the lens uh, collection correction uh, in here with collect correction without correction I'm gonna give the vignetting a little bit more because I like the retro in the bookstore right here and let me see okay I'm gonna just use the tone curve I create those tone curve points so let me 
do it this way and then add a little bit just slightly oh i added another one so i'm gonna do ctrl z this time let's see if i can create that retro frame look because it's nice like um in the bookstore it's like retro bookstore and so this gives you a nice retro feel I'm gonna see if I can increase the yellow or the saturation of the orange a little bit and the split tone I'm gonna do the split tone split toning it might be too yellow in this one so I'm gonna change back to the 6% right now so the overall you can see that the tone is uh, looking good to me I can um, adjust some of the highlight from here and then the shadow let me see just slightly a little bit more contrast okay I think this overall the tone looks good to me it just feels like still a lot of space I just need to cut down the space to be tighter and the other thing I can do is I can do a, a um, 4x5 crop as well but I want to do a square just to see how it goes okay so this this looks good to me and I'm gonna um, okay so what I'm gonna do just do a bigger square and then later I can crop it so I'm gonna just do a big square right now and I have more room to crop later yep so I'm gonna this time just use the edit because uh, this the light is pretty good to me and the tone is pretty good so I usually edit the skin at last and then later on once I edit the skin and then I can do the cropping so you can see that I choose this part of the skin and then most most of the skin are um, in the cover area then if you zoom in you can see the difference and then let's save it okay after the save you can see that is a tif file so i what i'm gonna do i'm saving the square one first just as a baseline and what i'm gonna do is do another crop closer and tighter you can see that in here as a preview but I want to include more books. It has a nice like bookstore retro vibes in here. And I can even increase the black so that it has more like solid uh, feel in here. The shadow also. So let me do it like that and then increase the black. And yep. So just a slight change in the in terms of the uh, in terms of the tone but not too much but I like I like this overall already and for those of you if you want just sharper eyes I just do another clarity just a little bit okay okay I'm gonna save another one with a unique name is that use unique name and then the next one I'm gonna do four by five crop just to see what was the difference this one right here is distracting I'm gonna do something about it I'll just crop it out yep yep I like the bookstore this looks good to me too okay so 
this one looks good to me i'm going to use another unique name so yeah you can see that um i created like three different versions and you can use based on different situation as well so that's it i think that's a pretty long video as uh, my usual editing video is uh, about 10 minutes and this one is probably more than half an hour already so but anyway thank you so much for sticking around and then checking out my video and thank you so much for your support in youtube and instagram thanks bye